everyone, what's up? Hope you're doing good. So today we'll be learning about sprites or actors in Scratch programming. In the last video, we learned about backdrops. If you missed the last video, I'll post a link in the description. Sprites play very important roles in Scratch programming. For example, if you want to animate or move a character slash actor from one place to another or from up to down, you need to learn about sprites. So, let's scratch. Okay, so now I'm in the scratch page and today we are going to learn about sprites. Sprites are important because you need them to code games and animations. So, take an example of a Mario animation. What do you need for a Mario animation? Mario, the bricks, and the mushroom, which is called a Goomba. So let's get started. So first we would just make a new project. Just creating and loading. Okay, so Scratch give, gives us a default sprite and you could delete this sprite if you want. Right now we're making a Mario game, so I don't really need this. Okay, so the first thing we are gonna go through is choose a sprite. Once you click choose a sprite, there are a lot of sprites to choose from. Since we are making a Mario game, but there's no Mario in here, we're just gonna select something like Mario. And I see this Ben guy is kinda like Mario. So I'll select that guy, and I'll just move him right down here. The next option is paint a sprite. When you, collect, when you select paint, you could do a lot of things like fill in shapes and yeah. But right now we need a brick. So I'm just going to choose the color red. Okay, so also there's an outline. So if you want that, you could also select that. So I just made my brick size. Let me just put it in the middle right here. Okay, so I now I select line. You could also select how the line looks. Right now it's just black. But I'm just going to make a simple brick. I put that right here. And I'm just going to make a line right through the middle. Okay, so that's the brick right here. If you feel anything is too big, you don't need to redraw everything. You could just go here to the size, select it. And you could change the size because I want this to be a little smaller. I'll just select 50. See, now it's small. Let me just put that right there. So now if you need a new brick, you don't need to redraw it or anything. You could just copy and paste it. I'll just show you how. First, you would select this one right here. It looks like your cursor. This, not this one because it has a little dot at the front. It means something. So now you could just copy this and you want it to be in a new one. So like you would need to make another brick. So we would select here and we would select paint. Okay, so now we can paste it right here with this button right here. Once I press paste, it's right here. Again, I want this to be smaller. So I'm just going to select the size 50. Now that it's 50, I'll just put these side by side. Okay, so the next option is Upload Sprite. When you press Upload Sprite, it takes you to your files and other stuff. Right now, we need a mushroom, or we call that a Goomba. So once I press Goomba and I open this, now it's right here. This is way too big, so I'm going to change the size to 25. Okay. So now it is small. Now there's also X and Y coordinates. So if you do this and you want to select straight in the middle, you could do zero and you could do the Y zero. So now when we press enter, it's in the middle. Or if you want to just drag it, you could drag it and drop it anywhere you want. So now that we've gotten that, there's a last option which is called surprise when you click that option it gives you a random sprite so i'll just show you right now 
So look, it gave us Ben again! Oh, so now we have two Marios! We don't need two Marios, so I'm just gonna delete it. You could also change the direction of the sprites. You could change it from here. You could just select circle, 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 and stuff. Or you can just go down here and type. So let's just put it back to 90. Now it's right. So in the next videos, we're gonna cover how it will move. Those are because we're gonna use the code for it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or questions, just type them in the comments down below. Bye.